Hi, this is Srinivas Tamara, founder of 9lesson.info. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to implement camera option using Ionic 2 and Angular 2. Uh, it's Ionic is Ionic Native is giving few options like to set up to activate your mobile native options. So this this tutorial is like you know how to take multiple images like this and then you can delete individually and I'll explain you everything in, a, in just 10 minutes let's see let's start so I gave some instructions here in my git page like first you need to install Cordo Ionic globally so first you need to execute this command so go to your terminal or in windows uh, command DOS prompt, command prompt, like execute this sudo, this this means, g means it's globally to install, this will give all the support files for Ionic and Cordova. So now I'm going to start Ionic project, like now I'm on, I'm going to my work folder, cd work, so here no projects for me, so I'm going to create a project now, it's called Ionic start v2 stands for Ionic 2 project and camera app with tabs module so this will create Ionic project with tabs component so this will take some time to install all the support files and it will create all the modules now meanwhile i'm just going to open the project like this is what my project now in behind scenes it will it will install all of the packages npm packages and node modules for running ionic app yeah now ionic project has been created now if you see you'll now we need to change the directory so cd camera app so now all the support files so here is the files this is what the source files and here are all the app main components and these are the pages so let me start this project you can simply start like running this command like ionic surf this will run at port 8100 yep no project has been created this is what the view and now i'm resize resizing my browser let's make it in a mobile view and i'm going to change my editor as well because this way we can edit and you can see the changes immediately so this is what the modules like tabs and what are the tabs like home information and contacts and so all these components here like i think i explained some of all this information in my previous tutorials if you want you can look into the 9 lesson.info okay like let's start the like let, let me modify something so right now we are on the home page you see here like about and contact right now on the home page so i can modify this so i'm changing to camera camera page whenever i'm say saving it will it will reflect immediately so here we are going to create a small uh, uh, mobile i mean the small button to take snaps like before that we need to install we need to look into the ionic native uh, plugin so before that um, try to execute these commands you will find this in uh, ionic native uh, plugins so this is what the command to install uh, camera module so keep running it you can create a new tab and you can execute this like ionic plugin add 
and Cordova plugin camera. So just execute this. This will add some uh, libraries for the project and then in install this ionignative camera for node modules. Yep, now in now package has been installed. Now the first thing is you need to import this here like in the main page like it's a main component and main module so install here like import i mean import camera from ionic camera native so And so this this is not detecting. So let me restart my server again. Okay. Execute command X and restart the server again because we installed new packages. So you have to restart the node server. Yeah. So, and then the same way you have to implement this here in the providers. So the same camera option I'm importing here. Yes. So if you see the error gone. So now we imported this in the app module. So now you can ready to use it anywhere in the pages. That's the beauty with Ionic. Now go to the home.ts. Like first we need to import that as well. Uh, before that, like we need to modify the design first, then later we can work on that. So I'm here, I'm just going to create a small button with ion button some text like take snap I take photo see you will see the changes here so making full full button yeah now you can see the button and now I'm going to add small icon here like you'll find all these things in the in the ionic components like name some uh, camera icon yes camera now you can see there is a small uh, icon here and I forgot to remove this yeah it's a take photo yeah uh, you can give some spaces like or you can control with uh, uh, CSS as well mm, yes now so you can see the little space I gave so this is what the button now so now before that we need to create a um, design as well so let me see is there any design <laughs> available like uh, let's see ionic components v2 components so i'll try to create a card kind of thing let's make it a little bigger so yeah so um, let me look into okay so i'm going to display the images in this way so i'm going to use this card design okay iron card so let me create it so let, let me create iron card and 
inside this I'm creating image image source let me create and uh, let me get some image from here mm. let's see the inspect element and see if we get the image okay copy link address let's see we're getting the image yes we're getting this image let's paste it and see how the output will be so this is what the image so i'm going to keep this because i'm going to display uh, uh, multiple images so i want to display two images for the row so let's divide into two parts so ionic has a grid component so let me create ionic grid so you need ionic grid and this contains uh, ionic row this this works like a bootstrap like you can divide into columns so let's create a column so column 6 uh, total grid set 12 so I'm going to display two two blocks per row so if you want to make it three you change this to four this way you can change it so let me cut and paste here now you can see the result so now see you can see it occupied one so this is going to repeat like uh, whenever you want you can repeat this block like this So this is how your image is going to display. So right now, okay. Um, so right now we are going to work with one card. So let's work on this. Let's save. Let me add a delete button as well. So um, let me add a delete icon. So icon ion icon then let's find out the names like let's find out the names uh, in the ionic let's see is there anything in the icons like there are a lot of icons let's see check for the delete okay uh, I'm going to use this trash out trash icon so use trash so let's back to the mobile view I'm giving the name called trash now you can see that you can see the image it's a small trash icon here now uh, this is actually you know um, it's a different uh, style so we, we need this trash icon on, on top of the image so I'm going to give some class so I'm going to apply some custom style for this so I'm creating a class called block and I'm giving a class name called delete icon so now we're going to write a style for this so so this is the main block for this icon so this will be position relative and this is position absolute because then i can move this icon wherever i want let's go to sas so this is what you want to create so now i'm going to write a class for block so this is position relative and now this block can inside the block there is icon so i can create directly like this delete icon like position absolute and now you can see the changes change happen like this 
so I don't know the exact width because of uh, different dimensions so I'm giving like margin left some 85 percentage um, and let's see yeah it got more there like so I'm giving margin top some 5px and uh, color white you can see this is what the delete icon so now the design has been completed now so we need to work on the coding part now so how are we going to uh, make action for this take photo and the and the delete photo delete photo as well so i'm going to give some class names call i mean action function names like click like click uh take photo and and this is click delete photo so now back to the main module page so now yeah uh, first uh, let me create some variables like you can create like this public variables like so photos so maybe this may be going to be array but i'm going to create as any right now so that the other one is public and um, base 64 image because all these images are base 64 encoding format so so this is going to be a string so now this is ready now initially like you know uh, right now like the photos we need to initiate initially like it's empty thing so ng on in it means like the starting initialization this is going to be empty array because whenever you launch the page or app the code comes here and here and it will set photo value as photo object value as empty so now i'm going to create a uh, function called take photo and some i'll give some alert called take photo in the same way like delete photo and alert delete and this comes with index because every we, we are deleting the image based on the index so uh, let me check what i specified here yeah so here we're going to pass index okay let's test this it's coming here or not we'll see no when I click on this, you will get see take photo. And when I click on this, you get delete. So now the functions are coming here. So now we are going to implement the photo action. So before that, like you can see some uh, ionic function like for the camera. Like I think I closed it. So. Um, here some of the code is available so you can use this code like uh, before that like <coughs> uh, we need to import the uh, camera options first like so if you want you can take these things from here like you can use this you can import so we are going to use camera and camera options so right now we are not this is showing error because uh, we haven't implemented this yet so let me uh, use this inside my function like uh, you can take this off and 
this is what the code and and I need to import the camera option first so it's a private and camera colon this camera so now this camera is refers to this so now you can reduce the quality to 50 percentage like the image quality otherwise the base 64 core will be very big uh, it's very tough to send this to apis so better try to reduce it to 50 percentage and there are a lot of uh, options you can go through this options like so entire like this is what your output uh, of the image uh, uh, here is here is the like your uh, you'll get the base 64 response now I'm going to add this into the photos object like uh, that's that's very simple like you can you can push it directly so I created this anyway so no need to create any variable so install this I'm going to give this so let me push this into photos this dot photos this is an array so you can use the push function it's a built-in function so you can push this oops and then <coughs> i'm making this array reverse because the latest photo should display in the first place so uh, i'm changing the order to reverse this final array we are going to render here so we are going to modify this with html with a loop so you can use this star uh, ng for so let photo of photos photos is the array so this is going to loop all of the photos and setting up here and and making like i'm going to create one more variable like let let is like you know yes six component like uh, i'm getting id value as an index so that id i'm going to pass it here instead of the index or if you want you can create it but this is the best way to do it so id uh, so now this block is repeating if the um, based on the array length if it is more than uh, zero like it will start looping so now we are going to replace this images so this is going to be image i mean the photo but so this is the value of the uh, this is the binding object so you have to modify this source to in a like usually in the ng source in the angular one so now we are going to use S src in this format so you can use if you want you can use like ng if, if uh, uh, photo is available or not like photo now now everything is ready now the delete action also yeah we are now if you see like uh, the delete so I'm getting the index so this index I'm going to drop off from this array so that's very simple like you can use splice uh, thing like you know uh, like uh, I'm I'm splicing the array based on the index so my array is this photos dot splice so index and one so this is how this is what the, you can so now the photos is also um based on the index it's removing the icon i mean based on the index we're removing the image from the photo array so if you want you can add uh, like some alert as well like uh, uh, like you can go to the ionic uh, 
to components edit you will see some alerts here so this is what the alert like you know if you want you can give this option so so how to implement this like you can first you have to import the uh, ionic core component so that's like you know, they specified here ionic angular so i'm just importing here first the alert controller uh, then that you have to include it here like private alert confirmation uh, better you can use this whatever they use so you no need to modify anything so this is what so i'm going to use this copy and oops and the delete option i'm just disabling this right now and okay anyway now it's tough to test so you can this this surely it works so you can replace this here and you can change the text to yes and if you want you can keep this or just delete this like you can change this title to like like sure you want to delete this picture and i think no need for the body so yeah it's it's done now so now application is ready and uh, you can test this with the uh, iphone like simply you can build the project like you know ionic build ios so this will build the project so meanwhile you can open the xcode or android so if you want to create for android you can use uh, like, like ionic add android and that project you can open with once you know, once build is successful you can open with android sdk but now i'm going to explain for xcode at the same both are uh, same so so you can go to the xcode so yeah now the build successful so i'm opening the project like you can go here like so my project is here and work and camera app and there are platforms and go to ios and now open this you can select this project allow and and open it so now now the project is running so these are the codes and before that you just uh, sign in with your uh, itunes accounts like for the developer team it's no need any no need to pay anything you just log in with your uh, uh, apple account so so it will create some ios developer certificate so now you can change you can connect your device so right now i haven't connected let me connect my device now i just connected my device so uh with the usb port so now you can see yep uh, so this is my phone so now you can just build this with your iphone like so this will take some time and uh, 